Finding the same giant canines in both sexes also rules out the idea that they were some kind of male ornament designed to attract females, the big cat equivalent of a stag's antlers. It's hard to believe that these supersized canines were anything other than what they looked like, specialized killing tools. Paleontologist Paul Matthews believes these extra-long teeth evolved in order to allow the cat to puncture the thick skin of large herbivores. Matthews has been testing DNA from Homotherium, the scimitar-toothed cat, a cousin of Smilodon, found in Beringia, the area of the Alaskan and Canadian Yukon through which humans first came to the Americas over 12,000 years ago and he discovered that Homotherium was eating practically nothing but mammoth. I think we're starting to get enough evidence to say that the saber-tooth morphology that has evolved a number of times in history is all about going after thick-skinned prey. With canine teeth that were twice as long as Homotherium's and a more muscular body, perhaps Smilodon was designed not just to target young mammoths, but the adults as well. And whether Sabretooth hunted alone or in groups, it seems it was designed to take on all the big prey animals living at the time. It was specialized toward killing big animals, animals bigger than itself. It's arguably the most specialized mammal that's ever evolved with respect to that kind of big game hunting specialist. Like modern big cats, Sabretooth was a hyper carnivore. The only thing it was interested in eating was fresh meat, and lots of it. Amazingly, we don't have to speculate what the saber-tooth ate. The Smilodons of La Brea make it possible to find out very accurately what was on their menu. The bones are so well preserved by the tar that many of the proteins that were present when the animals died are still embedded. And in those proteins is the evidence of what saber-tooth cats preyed on. At the University of California at Santa Cruz, Cana Fox Dobbs uses the science of stable isotopic analysis to study the diets of prehistoric animals. By analyzing the chemical elements in the proteins left in the bones of many animals, she can accurately determine what they ate. Each herbivore has a different signature of elements laid down on its bones, depending on what plants it regularly consumed. And every carnivore has the chemical signature of the herbivores it preyed on left in its own bones. We're able to tell um, differences in diet based on if they were preferring one herbivore type over another. The tests showed that saber-toothed cats in the Rancho La Brea area mostly ate the more common herbivores, such as horses and bison but also some of the real behemoths, such as ground sloths and mammoths. 